People always ask us, can it print carbon fiber? And the answer is carbon fiber what? Yeah. And the answer is yes. Welcome back to Vision Matter. Today we're talking about 3D printing carbon fiber materials. Uh, most of you probably know carbon fiber nylon. Uh, many of you are probably familiar with our videos on carbon fiber peak and carbon fiber ultim and carbon fiber polycarbonate and all the different carbon fiber polymers. And then of course, many of you probably know the Mark Forge style, continuous carbon fiber 3D printers, also Anisa print and even uh, continuous composites and many other companies that are working with actual carbon fibers in continuous tow lines that they're 3D printing with. Now today, we're gonna sort of blast through some of the misconceptions about what is carbon fiber 3D printing. In FDM, when you're squeezing hot plastic through a nozzle, it's basically a hot glue gun on a robot, that's FDM, FFF, most 3D printers on the market right now. Uh, that is generally chopped carbon fibers or milled carbon fibers, which you'll want to avoid, and we'll talk about that later, uh, but chopped carbon fibers embedded in the actual polymer that's being melted, and it's there so that as you're extruding the melted plastic, these tiny little pieces of carbon fiber line up and it increases the rigidity of the actual material, and it also increases the stiffness and the uh, dimensional accuracy because a lot of plastics like to move and flow as they're printed, and the carbon fibers act like a skeleton and keep them in place. So if you're doing something semi-crystalline like peak polyether ether ketone, it'll actually help keep that polymer, as it crystallizes, wants to warp and go all over the place, it'll actually help keep that in place where you want it to be. Now, this is very different from the other types of carbon fiber, and uh, there's a lot to be said for it, and there's a lot to be said against it. It will make your parts more brittle. Uh, but what else do people ask all the time when we get well, calls? I think the biggest misconception is I want to print carbon fiber, and they're thinking what Mark Forge type thing does, and that's all proprietary. Just also, by saying carbon fiber, there's it, it's gone crazy at this point. There's carbon fiber peak 10, Carbon fiber peak 20, high temperature nylon uh, CF 25, uh, high temperature nylon CF. And those all have different amounts of different types of carbon fiber in there that all give them different properties. Um, is there's aerospace grade carbon fiber and there's industrial grade carbon fiber and then there's regular carbon fiber and then there's like milled carbon fiber, which is carbon fiber powder. Um, so, Which does, what does milled carbon fiber do, Rob? So milled carbon fiber actually makes your parts look really, really pretty and decreases the strength of the materials uh, by a factor of 100. When you go on Amazon and find this cool carbon fiber material and it's $30, what are you getting? A lot of the time, if it's a cheap material like ABS, you're getting milled carbon fiber. So you're getting pretty weaker material. Way weaker material and it, it looks great. Like it looks fantastic, it's nice and smooth and matte black and all this stuff, but it's not gonna be strong. But it's a gimmick you're being sold to. You're pretty much being sold to. The next level is carbon fiber, which is any type, some sort of grade of carbon fiber undisclosed, uh, which is usually put in in chopped fibers and they'll put it into the screw that extrudes the actual filament at you know a few millimeters long or a few centimeters long and it'll get chopped up in the screw extruder and come out in tiny, tiny little pieces in the filament uh, along the path. Now that's your generic carbon fiber, you know, 3D printing filament, which generally will be a lot stiffer. It'll be a little bit higher temperature resistance. It'll be more brittle, um, but it'll be a lot stronger, to higher strength to weight ratios. And then you have industrial grade and aerospace grade. Now, industrial grade is bigger strands of fiber. Like each individual fiber, like human hairs, is bigger and it's not quite as stiff as the aerospace grade, which is smaller strands that are actually stiffer. So one strand of aerospace grade is smaller and stiffer and stronger than a bigger industrial grade carbon fiber. Now, you usually only see the aerospace grade carbon fibers in things like Peak and Ultim and the really expensive $600 a kilogram materials like Ultim, Peak, PPS, um, PPSU, PPS, um, some great new materials out there. Uh, that print really, really hot. If you're interested, check that out, visionminer.com slash materials, and we've got 3D printers for it as well. But the industrial grade is what you'll usually find in like nylon or, or high quality ABS uh, from companies that we supply at visionminer.com slash materials. We've got a lot of different options, but we mostly stick to the USA made stuff because we have full traceability, COAs, COCs, 
uh, and just basically you can trace it all the way back to the lot of carbon fiber and of polymer material that it was originally made from. So for our aerospace and medical clients and our oil and gas guys uh, and energy people, you know, these are this pretty important, you know, because if you're making something that's going into hard drives, for instance, and you want to use uh, this type of material, you need that lot traceability in case something goes wrong in your batch production. So that's really, really important to get high quality stuff. Unless it's in a high quality proven in the paperwork manufacturer carbon fiber type and they disclose all of that, for the most part, if it doesn't state that, it's kind of a gimmick because everyone wants carbon fiber. The quality and the brand matter. Yep, big time, big time. Uh, and not everybody, not every company does this. You know, most, there's a few really good American companies that do this, that have full traceability and they disclose what they're using. We've been printing a long time. We've got a lot of different things. This is carbon fiber peak. This is carbon fiber nylon, and this is an even lower grade of carbon fiber nylon. Listen to the sounds. That was low grade carbon fiber nylon. Higher grade nylon. Oh, a little bit higher pitch. This is CF peak. Yeah, even though they have different architectures, you can tell the rigidity of the part by how is, high pitched it is. Yeah. This is CFPPS. Yeah, Where did you that's hear that? good stuff. That's carbon fiber polymer. <laughs> Dude, give me the PPS again. Yeah. Like Time for a breakdown. What are the types of carbon fiber you can buy that aren't continuous like Mark Forge, Rob? Well, the first person to answer that correctly in the comments below, we're gonna contact you and give you a free bottle of nanopolymer adhesive, which is our proprietary build plate glue that works with just about every single material on the market. Uh, so leave your comment down below as to what that is. The main takeaways, what's carbon fiber good for? It's good for high strength to weight ratio parts, better dimensional accuracy, less warping in the, in the materials, especially when they're difficult like Peak or Ultim uh, or even nylon. Uh, here's the main benefit of carbon fiber is you're squeezing something molten out through that nozzle that just kind of wants to flow in all directions. Having something in there that won't melt, hasn't melted yet, isn't even close to its burning temperature basically keeps everything kind of tensioned together so that it behaves more predictably and clean. It, 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 it helps the material flow in different directions accurately and quickly, as opposed to just kind of being shoveled around by the nozzle. Yeah. Yeah. For all you machine shop guys out there, metal forming guys, you can do so much with these materials. Basically, you put that there, you put your sheet metal in there, and then you take this one on the top, and it goes down, and it goes, and it gets your accurate bends on your sheet metal and things of that nature. Um, 3D printing can be used for that. You'll have your parts overnight. It'll cost a fraction of the amount of actually milling these or making them out of steel or aluminum, and uh, you can make entirely custom ones. So really cool stuff, really great stuff. Leave some comments down below about whatever questions you may have about these materials, the printers, the scanners, whatever you got anywhere. We're happy to help. We do 3D scanning, 3D printing, uh, high performance materials, aerospace, medical, oil and gas here at Vision Minor. That's our bread and butter for the last quite a few years now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. I'll see you on the next video.